All right, this one's gonna be the big one for the week. This is factoring trinomials of x squared plus bx plus c. So we wanna be able to find the zeros of the quadratic expression by factoring. Um, today, we aren't gonna be finding the zeros. We're just gonna be factoring it, um, kinda of like simplifying it. We're just gonna be writing it in a different way. Um, so the quadratic equation is right here. So what we've been working with, where a, b, and c are known numbers, uh, a cannot be zero, uh, and x is the unknown. So uh, we're going to use something called the uh, x method to factor these. So what I mean by that is we're going to draw an x on our paper. And then we know that this is b, this is C, and there is a one out in front of here, that's A, but we're not gonna use it for this video. Uh, but we are going to say that we're gonna put C right here, and we're gonna put B at the bottom. And then we're gonna put a little plus sign here and a multiplication sign. So let's go ahead and fill in the numbers that we have. So what is C? Well, C is 20, I'm gonna keep this dot, and B is nine, I'm gonna put that right there, and then we're gonna keep this addition. So we wanna find two numbers that add up to get nine, but those same two numbers need to multiply together to get 20. So we need two numbers that add to nine and multiply to 20. So let's try and think of two numbers that when you add them, you get nine, multiply to get 20. So you could start off by listing all the factors of 20. Let's try that. So let's do 20. What are the factors of 20? Well, we've got one, two, four, five, uh, 10, and 20. Um, and if you wanted to write them in such a way where you wrote them as pairs so that they multiply to get 20, you could do that too. So like, so 20, this would be one times 20 gives you 20, right? Two times 10 gives you 20, and four times five gives you 20. So do any of these add together to get nine? Um, we all know that they multiply to get 20, but one plus 20, that doesn't equal nine. Two plus 10 does not equal nine. But four and five, when you add four and five together, what do you get? You get nine. So we can write four over here and we can write five right here. So I've got two numbers that m add to get nine and two numbers that multiply to get 20. So that's fine and dandy. Um, and so now that we found that, we need to write them in a particular way. Um, we are going to write our answer um, as, let's, let's write it over here. Write your answer like so. So we're gonna write x plus four and x plus five. This is your answer. This is your answer. This is how you factor. This is what you get when you're done factoring. You should get something that looks like this. So this says to check your answer by using the FOIL method. So FOIL stands for first in, oh, oh I'm already messing up. First, jump in the, jump in the gun. First, outside, inside, and last. 
So we're going to check our answer, check to see that we get the right answer by using this method called FOIL. So let's write our answer here. So x plus four and x plus five. We are going to FOIL this. So what that means, that means we're going to take the first two things and we're going to multiply them together. When we multiply those together, x times x is going to give us x squared. We are now going to take this same x and we are going to multiply it by the outside. So first, and then we're going to go to the outside. So what is x times five? Well, we get five x. Now we are going to do the inside. So the two inside things. So four times x is four x. And now we're going to do the last. So four times five. You want to keep the signs in front. Right now everything's positive, so it doesn't matter. Um, but four times five is going to give us 20. And you notice that I can combine, I can combine these two things right here. So x squared, and what's five x plus four x? You got it, that's nine x plus 20. And this is the same thing that we started with right here. So we know that we did it correctly. I know it's a lot, so if you wanna take a, the pause and breathe, go ahead. But we're gonna take a look at example two now. So example two, we're gonna follow these same exact steps. So first step, we're gonna draw our X and I'm going to put C with a multiplication sign and B with an addition sign. So that we know that we need two numbers that multiply to get C and two numbers that add up to get B. So now let's label this is B, this is C. Let's draw our new X. So C is 24 and we are multiplying and um, our B is 11 and it needs to add. So if you want, you can come over here to the side and do 24, all the factors of 24. So that would be one times 24 gives you 24. Two times 12 gives you 24. What else goes into 24? Um, three times eight gives you 24. Uh, four times six gives you 24. And that would be all the factors. So this would be all the factors going this way. So you'd have one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, 24. Those are all the factors of uh, 24. So now you wanna take a look and see, okay, which one of these might add up to 11? Does one and 24 add up to 11? No. Two and 12? No. But three and eight does. Three and eight does. So three and eight, they add together to get 11 and multiply together to get 24. So we can write our answer as x plus three and x plus eight. That's our answer. Now let's check it using the FOIL method. So x plus three x plus eight. We're going to FOIL, so first we'll do the x's, so that gives us x squared. Remember this is multiplying, and then x times eight is eight x. Three times x would be three x, and three times eight would be 24. When you combine these two, you get 11x. So we get x squared plus 11x plus 24. Is that what we started with? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I should have been using D this whole time. Um, sorry, let's... Uh, um, we should have been using D instead 
of x. If that's okay, we can just rewrite this. We'll rewrite this as d squared plus 11d plus 24. So is that the same thing as that? Yeah, it's just we did x's here instead. So just be careful. You want to use whatever letter that they write instead of um, instead of x all the time. So d squared plus 11d plus 24. And that's what we started with. So you know that this is the right answer. All right, um, I'm going to pause it here and then we will look at the examples on the back.